Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to the makeup community. If this is your first time here, it's kind of a, a YouTube beauty channel social thing put together. What I wanted was a place where people could come and talk about everything makeup. If you are a pro or a makeup maven, if we could pick your brain, that'd be great. If you're new to makeup, this is a place to be because we're kind of back to basics and going step by step by step. And if you just like makeup and want to talk to people about it, this is perfect too. So I wanted a fun, positive community where, you know, it's not just the creator and then people responding to the creator of the videos. It's just everybody talking to everybody. So my name's Chris. I'll be like your cruise director. The community section in YouTube you can't use on a mobile device, so we're actually using the comment section below for the discussion section. So if you believe that makeup is for everybody, every gender, skin tone, income level, every ability, every disability, this is the place to be. You're going to notice that my voice is shaky and I have tremors. And that is because of Parkinson's syndrome. It's a genetic thing. It's degenerative. It kind of gets worse over time. And so that was kind of how everything sparked off in my mind, why I wanted to do this. And then it grew from there. So today, so somebody asked me, she said, I heard of something that you put on your eyelids and it helps your eyeshadow stay. What is that? Can you tell me about that? So I'm going to show different eyeshadow primers or ways to prime your eyelids to make your shadow stay. And then I was also asked if you only had like one palette to pick from that you could do a bunch of looks with the most versatile palettes, what would you pick? And so I, it was so hard for me to narrow them down, but I got three that are good for, you know, if you're going on a trip or something like that, having multiple looks. And then I picked three more just kind of bonus ones and that was the hardest because I have a ton of eyeshadows. So I love eyeshadow. I love playing with it. I usually won't grab for one palette. I'll grab for a couple of them to kind of mix and match. So, but I did narrow them down and I hope you like them. So, I am going to start with the eyeshadow primer. Yeah, you put that on before eyeshadow. It kind of makes sense. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat and a t-shirt, today has been one of those days. I mean, I got a huge bruise on my leg from of it. I sat on my cat. It's just been one of those days. But, bonus points for anybody who knows what this shirt is. And then that'll tell you a lot about who I am. <coughs> so anyway, primers. You can use concealers or a uh, cream eyeshadow as a primer. Also, they actually make eyeshadow primers and it really is going to make your eyeshadow more vibrant and it's going to make it last a lot longer. So the first couple I have to show you are actually concealers. Then I've got a couple different kinds of primers and then I have the cream eyeshadow sh to show you. I like using the cream eyeshadow especially for a cut crease look for doing that crease. So first I have got the Conceal and Define from Makeup Revolution. This is a concealer. It comes in 18 colors and the best thing is it's $7. Now it's available at Ulta and MakeupRevolution.com. I got mine at Ulta and what I do is I take the little doe foot applicator here and I put it on my eyelid and just pat it out and you have a nice sticky base there but you also cover up any kind of discoloration that you have on your eyelids you know the tiny little veins things like that it's really nice but it's kind of fluidy and not real thick so if I want something thick if I'm you know trying to cover up the little hairs here because I need my eyebrows waxed you know or for a cut crease this Stick Foundation is the Tarte in uh, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Concealer and I got this one from Sephora and this one's $25. It seems expensive for such a little thing but you actually use so little you get quite a bit out of it. So like I said it's a stick and I'll take the brush straight to it or I'll even just put it straight on my eyelid. So just 
you know, like that. And then I dropped that for anybody wondering. I, that totally went in my lap. So it went flying. We're having fun with tremors. Yay. So anyway, just pat that on. It gives you a nice sticky base and it conceals all of the, um, you know, little things on your eyelid, little discolorations on your eyelid. So you have a nice canvas to do your eyeshadow on. So the next two are actually primers, eyeshadow primers. These are both available at Ulta and Sephora and their individual websites. The first one I got for you is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and my best friend recommended this one to me and let me tell you it will keep it on. It says 24 hour wear. Trust me, it will take you day through night. Now this is twenty dollars. It again seems like paying a lot for something little, but to use such a little amount, it's actually going to last you a really long time. This one has got a little applicator top thingy where you squeeze it out. So you squeeze it out on your hand, and then you can use your fingers or your brush to pick it up and put it on your eyelid, and then go in with your eyeshadow. That one is excellent. And then also there is the classic Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now it comes in different flavors. I use the anti-aging one. That's what that one looks like. This is actually the trial size, but they give you so much. That's the one that I went ahead and purchased. So this one was $13 and then the large size is $24. Since I use multiple different things for different looks, I'm not going to go through a big one by the time I would end up throwing it out. So the trial size is actually kind of perfect. So this one has got an applicator like, like that. I don't know if you can see that really well because the light's like right there. So I just put it straight on my eyelid, buff it out with my finger, and I am ready to go. And then this one is a primer but it's specifically for glitter. Now if you're using like loose pigments or something glittery, you know, some kind of shimmers there, sometimes they can fall out down here and you need something a little stickier. So this is the NYX glitter primer right here. And Too Faced also makes the glitter glue, but this one works just as well as Too Faced. And this one is $6.49. It's made by NYX, it's wonderful. I got this at Ulta and I love it. And so this one I definitely recommend. And NYX also has a regular shadow primer. I haven't tried that one yet. So I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know. If I try it, I'll let you guys know and let you know how it works. And the last one is a MAC Paint Pot. I use the color Painterly. It comes in multiple colors, but it is actually a cream eyeshadow. Also one of those you know, oh, that's a lot of money for a little product, but you don't use a lot of it. So that's $22. And if I'm doing a cut crease look or, you know, if, like I said, if I need an eyebrow wax and I need to really shape out those brows and cover some hairs, this will do it. I really, really love this. And so that does it for the priming. Now, I was asked about the eyeshadows. People are just starting. They don't want to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on eyeshadows, you know, as there are like one or two palettes that you can make multiple, multiple looks with. And I got you covered there. This is going to be really hard for me to not use <laughs> the words pigmented or stunning. Sorry. So the first one I have is one of my favorites. It actually just came out. It is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. So the palette looks like this. It's plastic. And then you open it up and you've got your mirror there and then it flips back all the way and you've got your eyeshadows now the colors are absolutely gorgeous and you can make tons and tons of different looks here let me tilt it and see if you can see like those first four shades look like all white but they're not I promise you they're all very pretty so I definitely recommend that one that one's one of my favorites. So you get 21 shadows for $49, but they are good sized shadows. And it's Urban Decay. Urban Decay makes wonderful, wonderful products. So to me, it was worth it. 
The next one is more wallet friendly. Morphe is a more wallet friendly brand. They're sold at Ulta and Morphe.com. Or if you're lucky enough to live near a Morphe Brushes store, right now I think they're only in California and they are planning to expand, you can go into the stores for them. But I don't live in California, so I went to Ulta to go pick this one up. And anybody who watches YouTube regularly is about to roll their eyes because everybody mentions this. It is the Jaclyn Hill palette. You get 35 nice sized shadows for $39. Now, you know, some people aren't happy that this is $15 more than their regular 35 shadow pan palettes. But I gotta be honest with you, the colors in here make it worth it. And you won't go through all of these. You will get your money's worth. So this is what it looks like. This is what the colors look like. It is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are great. Some of the darker mattes, you get a little bit of fallout on your cheeks, but it's not bad. That's not to make it a break it for me, honestly. So this is a great deal for the price, and you can make multiple, multiple looks out of that. <coughs> Excuse me. The last one that you can make multiple, multiple looks out of does not have as many colors to it but it is the colors that she selected and how she did it that makes it something that I would take. It's from Dominique Cosmetics. Kristen Dominique is a YouTuber and she has her own line. It used to be sold at Ulta and now it is sold at Sephora exclusively. But this is her latte palette. And this is what that looks like right here. And these are huge pans, let me tell you. So you got your, this is cardboard, you got your mirror and then you have your eyeshadow. So like this room here is neutrals and safe mattes. They are absolutely beautiful. They blend like a dream. And down here you've got three different shimmers and a couple pops of color. This one right here is more of a teal. It's coming off green, but it is more of a teal blue and it is just absolutely gorgeous. The whole thing is wonderful. You can make a lot of the looks out of it. Now this one is $42 for 10 shades, so you don't get as much bang for your buck, but like I said, to me it's worth it. The pants are huge and you can make a bunch of looks out of it, and the quality is amazing. So I had to try to narrow down my extras, and it was so hard because I, like I said, I love eyeshadows. I love playing with eyeshadows. Um, so I had to eliminate like the limited editions because I don't know when somebody's going to be watching this. I had to eliminate things that wouldn't look good on every skin tone because I don't want to say, hey, this is great, but only half of you can wear it. That's, that's not cool. I'm not going to do that. So I picked three that are absolutely 100% beautiful that you can't make like every look out of, but you can make multiple looks out of and the quality is there. It's absolutely just, I'm trying not to say pigmented and stunning, but they're pigmented and stunning. You, you can smack me later for saying that. So the first one just kind of came out. It's the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's that got that kind of velvety color cover that most uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, well, all of them have. Just like the other ones, it is $42 for 14 eyeshadows. They are pretty small, but they are absolutely beautiful. The quality is there. The pans are not that large, but quite honestly, you're not going to go through all of it unless you know you really dig into one or two colors this does not do it justice let me tell you these are stunning and pigmented sorry <laughs> but they really are they're so beautiful there's actually a brush that comes in here but I just take them out you know so absolutely beautiful multiple you know you've got your metallics and your foils and your mattes and your shimmer and I mean just absolutely beautiful palette right there <coughs> excuse me got a frog in my throat the next one is a great deal well the next two are actually great deals I really love the next two they're very wallet friendly 
ColourPop is a very wallet friendly line and it's really good. I love their stuff. So this is the Give It To Me Straight eyeshadow palette and I got this at Ulta and you get 12 shades for $16 and this is more of a rosy toned neutral here. They have a lot of coppers and rosy tones and gold and this palette you can make a lot of lot of looks from that palette and I really enjoy it. I have a couple from Color of Bob actually and their eyeshadows are really nice especially for the price. And the last one I love, I just got my hands on this because Ulta started carrying them, is Juvia's Place. It is actually a woman of color owned product. So yes, yes, support women of color because women have it really hard in business and women of color have it doubly hard. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and absolutely support. And it also helps that their products are amazing. So this is the Nubian palette, and this is what it looks like. These are gold and coppers and just absolutely stunning, sorry, um, metallic shades, and they are absolutely beautiful, and they are very, very soft. I mean, look, look at these, look at these colors there. Look how wonderful those are. I'm trying not to say pigmented, but come on. These are amazing. These are absolutely amazing. I just forgot to change my wedding band. Look at those. Just beautiful. So those are some of my favorites. I want to pick up actually more. Like I said, I was just able to get a hold of these. They are sold at Ulta. And you can go to JuviusPlace.com. But... I had heard that their customer service wasn't very good for a long time, so that's why I kind of waited until they started being sold somewhere else. So that about does it. I hope that this was helpful for y'all. If you have any questions, let me know. Comments, let me know. So like I said before, if you are a makeup pro, makeup maven, if you are new to makeup, and you know want to pick their brains my brain if you just like makeup and you want to talk about things this, this place to be please hit that subscribe button and if you hit the notification bell it'll let you know when i come up with new videos i'm going to try to post two or three a week but the discussion section is always open so i will talk to you guys down in the discussion section and i will see you in my next video